As defending champion Juan Carlos Ferreira was in confident mood, heading into the ATP Studena Croatia Open in Umag. And he quickly headed to the nearest golf course. A good way to steady those pre-match nerves. I love golf, you know, I, I feel so relaxed playing. Uh, it's very different from tennis, so, uh, you know, tennis is very stressful for us, you know, we have to, to play all days. But in golf, uh, I can relax, I can, you know, be with my friends a little bit, and uh, it's very nice. For the tennis players, I think it's a little bit more easier because the swing of tennis is a little bit more similar uh, than the swing of golf. So uh, yeah. for us, it's a little bit easier. I play with um, Rafa because he's at the same level as me, I think, and uh, we can enjoy it together. I uh, play with Hewitt. He's, he's very strong. He plays better than me, actually. And I uh, play with, with Fer also. He, likes, he, he loves to play and uh, also play with my coach. Ferrero has also been planning for his future. He's part owner with fellow player and countryman David Ferrer of the Valencia Open. Originally a modest clay court tournament held in the spring, they've transformed it into an elite ATP World Tour 500 hard court tournament held at one of the most stunning venues on the circuit the Agora, in the City of Arts and Sciences. It's a big tournament in, in the Tour, I think. Uh, the, you know, the city is amazing, Valencia, and uh, the course, uh, the place we play. So I think it's very, very impressive. All the players that uh, play there they told me that it's amazing. So, you know, of course, I'm very proud to be part of it, and, uh, you know, I, I try to keep. He's already achieved so much in his career and still has an eye on more success. But what is the Spaniard's proudest achievement so far? It's difficult to keep with one. I mean, Roland Garros is one of my favorite tournaments. I played very, really well over there. I, I played two semifinals, two finals, one of those I, I, I win it. So, of course, it's one of my favorites, but, uh, you know, to be an Amewal is also special. Uh, be part of the team that uh, win the Davis Cup is also very special, so... It's difficult to get one. Juan Carlos grew up playing on clay, winning the 2003 Roland Garros crown on the red dirt. But his aggressive style is suited to all surfaces. He was a US Open finalist in 2003 and has made the last eight at Wimbledon twice. Of course I like clay course, but uh, of course I played uh, really nice tournaments on grass or on hard court. So I think a tennis player right now has to play good in every surface, not only in one. But of course, as you said, play my favorite teams. Spain currently dominates the world game. Juan Carlos was one of the early trailblazers for the current Armada. But what does he believe is the secret to his country's success? I think we have uh, great uh, academies, great coaches. The weather is, so, is most of the time very nice. Uh, we have the opportunity to, to play when uh, we are very young, uh, futures in Spain, there's a lot, a lot of futures and uh, a lot of challenges. Uh, I think it's the more important tournament to start to, you know, to, to go into the tour. So I think this case is it's very important for us. As the current battle for the number one spot burns white hot, does this former world number one believe his countryman Rafa Nadal can go back to the top, above the imperious Novak Djokovic? One. Djokovic did this year is amazing, so I think he deserves to be a number one right now. But Rafa did almost the same, but he only lost the finals against Djokovic, so I think he will get the number one, I don't know if soon, but I think he will get it again. Ferrero has made at least one ATP World Tour singles final for the past 13 years, a record, and he's already claimed his first title of 2011 in Stuttgart. So what next for this revived master? You know, right now what I, what I need is to get into the court and uh, try to get some rhythm, try to, get, try to play some matches. Uh, the result maybe is not the, the most important for me. Right now is, you know, see that the knee is, is going well, no problem, no, no pain, and, uh, you know, keep focus on that, try to, to be healthy, and uh, try to finish as, as good as I can. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, on tour with Novak. We're with the world number one and his girlfriend, Helena Ristich, in London.
And we've a special behind-the-scenes report from the final tournament of the European clay court swing, the Bet at Home Cup in Kitzbühel, Austria. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And find us on Facebook and Twitter 